What do you get when you meld the Surface Book display with premium hardware, premium all metal design, and pretty decent performance at a pretty good price? You get this. It's the Cube Thinker i35, and it's something that's pretty special in my opinion. This is the AMD Tech first look and unboxing of the Cube Thinker i35. The Thinker comes in at around $650, but you can get it at flash sales for about $615 or so. I'll put the link below for more information. I purchased my unit directly from Cube from their AliExpress store, but I recommend buying it from either Banggood or Gearbest. This way you'll get PayPal protection, something you don't get from AliExpress. Now, packaging was premium and was really impressive, in my opinion, since this is coming from China. We don't normally see such high-end packaging. Opening the box, you're greeted by the Cube Thinker i35 itself. And the first thing you'll notice is its premium all-metal design, really something you don't normally see out of China, except maybe for the Xiaomi Mi Notebook Air. And you get some documentation, which is all in Chinese, which of course is no use to me since I don't speak or read Chinese. Now, since this is coming from China, it will have the Windows 10 Chinese language version, but they did convert it to English for me. I decided to do a clean install with Windows 10 Pro. Most of the drivers downloaded in the Windows 10 install. Now, it did come with a US plug, as you see here, and you get your power brick. Now, it has 12 volts, 3 amps, and it will supply the necessary power needed. It's a barrel pin connector, but you can also charge this device with its USB Type-C port, which is always a nice touch. At 3.7 pounds, this is certainly not the lightest laptop, but it does have a nice substantial feel to it, but it's not overly heavy, and the design is really premium, as you can see here. But unfortunately, you cannot open the lid of the laptop with one finger, something I really like to do, but unfortunately you cannot do with this unit. But you can open the lid all the way down flat, as you see here. One nice feature you don't normally see out of devices coming from China is a fingerprint sensor, and it's located in the upper left-hand corner of the touchpad. Now, if you do decide to do a fresh Windows 10 install in English, you will need to download the Elan fingerprint sensor driver. Chris over Tech Tablets will have a driver dump. I will put the link below for more information. I really like the fact that you have the Windows 10 Hello login with the fingerprint scanner and the added security it brings. But there is no doubt that the star of this show is its display. It's a 13.5 inch 3000 by 2000 resolution display. That's a Surface Book display. It's the same fully laminated display as the offering you get from Microsoft. And with my limited use with it so far, I am extremely impressed. This is an outstanding display with a very good color accuracy at 100% sRGB and it gets very bright over 400 nits. The viewing angles are excellent and the colors really pop off the screen. This is probably the best, if not the best screen to come out of China right now. Now, there are no speaker grills on this unit, but the sound does emanate from above the keyboard. Let's take a look and a listen to hear them in action. What you get under the hood is the Intel KB Lake Core M37Y30 processor with 8GB of RAM and 256GB of SATA 3 SSD storage. Now as far as ports are concerned, here's what you get with the Cube Thinker i35. You get a USB 3.0 on the left hand side of the device and next to that you get your DC in. That's where the barrel pin connector connects to charge the device. And you get your USB Type-C 3.1. It supports data, charge, and display out. And on the other side, you have another USB 3.0, and you have a 3.5 millimeter headset jack. We will test that in the sound section of our full review coming very soon.
Now, one thing I really like about this device in my limited use so far is its keyboard. It has about 1.4 millimeters of key travel. The keys are island style, chiclet style keys, and they're comfortable to type on for extended periods of time. Of course, I will do extensive testing in the full review, but suffice it to say, it's pretty good. Now, as far as the trackpad is concerned, it does Windows 10 gestures, and it does support two finger scrolling, all working pretty well. Now, if you watch my channel, you know I'm a big fan of the Surface Book, and here you see it next to the Cube i35. And let me know what you think about a comparison video in the comment section below. Let me know if that's something you want. And in addition to the fact that they both share the same display, they both also share the same pen technology. That's correct. The Surface Pen will work on the Cube Thinker i35, and it worked really well, much like you would have on the Surface Book. Of course, as we know, the Surface Pen uses the N-Trig technology with 1,024 levels of pressure sensitivity. And just like the Surface Book, you can customize the button on the top of what it can do, a single press, a double press, or a press and hold to get various functionality. Let's see it in action with the Thinker i35. What's the weather like in New York? It's currently 62 and cloudy in New York. And just like the Surface Book and the Surface Pro 4, a single press on the top will activate OneNote if you so choose. Now, one big difference, of course, is the fact that the Surface Book has a detachable display where the Cube Thinker i35 does not. And there will be some screen wobble when you're drawing or taking notes on this display. It's just the way it is with this design. But despite that, palm rejection was spot on and the pressure sensitivity seemed to be really working very well. So I will do more testing of the pen in the full review coming soon. So stick around, we will have the full review coming very soon as we normally do here in AMD Tech. We will test the performance, we will test the display, we will test the battery life of course, and we will see how the keyboard and trackpad fare, as well as how the sound of the speakers are in this device. We'll test the webcam, and of course we will test the Surface Pen. So stick around for that full review coming very soon. So what do you think about the Cube Thinker i35? I really do like it. Uh, my first impressions with the limited time that I've used it, the couple of days or so, I'm really impressed. For about $650 or even less on, on flash sale right now for about $615 at Gearbest, I'll put the link below, you're really getting a premium design all metal design with a really fantastic screen. It's a Surface Book screen, the same fully laminated screen as you get from Microsoft with a Surface Book. And what I really like is the fact that you can use the Surface Pen with this. Now I know Cube makes a pen for this device, but I wouldn't really go with that that pen. I'd go with the Surface Pen. It's got the Entrick technology, it's proven, we know who makes it, and I would go with that. Now, I also want to test the battery life. I'll test the performance. I'll test everything associated with this device. We'll test the sound. We'll test the webcam. We'll see how this all comes together. But first impression so far, I am really impressed. I think this is one of the best offerings out of China since the Xiaomi Mi Notebook Air. And I like it even better because it has eight gigabytes of RAM, 256 gigs of SSD storage. Now it's running the core M3 Kaby Lake processor. And so far, my initial results, uh, my initial testing has been pretty good. But I'm curious to know what you think about this device. Leave a comment in that comment section below. Let me know what you think of the Thinker i35. What do you want me to test? If there's anything specific with this device you want me to test, let me know in that comment section below. So please hit the like button, please subscribe, please share this video. Don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if there's a device or something out there you think I should review. I'll do my best to try to make that happen. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook and on Twitter and our website, amdtechreviews.com. So until next time, this is Andrew from AMD Tech. See ya.